Hello and welcome back to my tutorials. Today we are going to be talking about VC Face. This is the program that I use for my VTuber. After I create my VTuber in Vroid, I bring it over to VC Face. This is what animates it and uses my laptop camera to animate me. This me. And so what you want to do is once you get it in here, and I'll put the linky in the description so that you can go and get this yourself. It's completely free, completely free. So yay. So what you're going to do is after you go through Vroid or wherever it is you're getting your avatar, you're going to add your avatar. You're going to find wherever it's located and you're going to click on it and click open and then it's going to load. And it's going to be great. And we are going to, these are all my dresses, by the way. It's the same me, but just different dresses. Um, I'm going to go with the pink one today. I really like it. Okay. So for the settings, uh, let me check something real quick. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Hopefully you can see all of this. For the settings, you can click recommend settings. And what that will do is it will detect all of your computer stuff so that it can tell you what the best settings are for you and your computer. I did that. So this is what, um, this is the settings I use. I left it at default, so I didn't have to really do anything. I'm using my HD webcam, which is the built-in one. It's not that great of a webcam, but it's good enough. It's good enough for tracking my face and my eyes and my lips and all of that stuff that it needs to detect. So for the camera settings, I have it set for camera default, but you can change this to whatever you want. And then the frame rate is okay at 24 and I have high quality. I don't have wink support. I'm not even sure what that is at this time, but high quality works for me. So that's what I use. And I don't use the microphone. Because uh, when I'm recording, I just use Audacity and sometimes I'll use OBSs. But for the most part, I, I don't even use this. So I just leave that as that. Okay, so once you get all of your settings set and you have everything all ready, you select which avatar you want and you'll hit start. <gasps> and here we are. You gotta wait for it to load a little bit and then ta-da! Here we are, and you can also move it around and stuff. It, it might even start, um, I got, hang on. Sometimes, sometimes I forget, there we go. Sometimes it starts way zoomed out here, okay? Um, and I like to have mine zoomed in a little bit, depending on what I am doing. So we'll zoom back in a little bit. There we go. And you want to make sure that, you know, your ears aren't clipped off or anything. So make sure you're not like this, because then it'll look funny. You make sure, you know, everything is where it needs to be and stuff. Um, so yeah, so this is the uh, VC face thingy. And right now, is it, when if you bring it up into OBS, it's gonna show all of these things, which is okay. But we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Okay, so with mirror motion, if I move to my right, it goes to the left. If I move to my left, it goes to the right. And I, I don't really like that because if I'm looking at something, it's gonna be on the wrong side. So I click on mirror motion, so that way when I look to the left, so does my avatar. If I look to the right, so does my avatar. So it's, I personally, I like to have mirror motion on, especially if you're gaming and stuff or like looking at your screen. I don't have track leap motion. I don't know what that is. So I leave that off. Um, movement smoothing is, well, you can check this out for yourself. Just kind of slide it all the way down and move around, see what you think, and then slide it up. And see, now I'm barely moving. I'm moving my head back and forth, but my avatar is barely moving. I like to be pretty free, so, but I also like it kind of smooth. Okay, and then movement range is how far you go. See, 
I'm, I'm moving really far, but my avatar is not moving that much. And you go this way and it's like, whoa, you can really move all around now. <laughs> so yeah, I like to set this to where you want it and where you need it. And then let's see. So those are the main ones, I think. Now, sometimes when you're recording or you're uh, live streaming or whatever it is you might be doing, um, sometimes if you turn to look at something and you come back, see how my body's turned a little bit now? Well, that's when you need to click on reset position. Ta-da! And it just resets you. Now, there is an easier way to do this. I have it set to where if I press T, the letter T, as in Tom or toy, it resets me. Ta-da! See, so I can turn and come back. See how much I've turned. And then you hit T. Ta-da! It fixes it. Um, if you do want to a complete rundown of everything you click on help and here's a nice little thingy that's you know all of these fun things so i don't i don't even use expressions i just use my face <laughs> uh but yeah and then there's also this button it's really hidden i had a hard time finding it but this tutorial button here it will go through and tell you how to do obs and all kinds of things, but we're gonna get to that later or maybe in a different video, I'm not sure yet. This is really important too. There's this little tiny X like button and in order to get rid of it, you will hit space. So that's what I do. And see, they have an R selected for reset. I have mine set for T. Here we go, see where it says reset, you'll go to general settings you will go down to global reset hotkey. You'll click on that and then you'll click the key that you want to, you know, set your reset button to. And it is pretty important you have a reset button because you don't want to be opening up the settings every single time that you need to. Okay, so yeah, if you have any questions or you forget, there's this really nice help button and this will give you, you know, an idea of things. Plus there's the tutorial, which is really nice. So yeah. Um, one of the things is if you are, if you have a webcam or you're using your phone or you're using your laptop camera, um, sometimes it's not positioned right. So for example, I'm going to move mine down. You see this blue bar? That means like the camera, my, like my actual head is at the top of the camera and it's not, it's, it's hitting the top. Even though my avatar doesn't show, that's what that means. It means I'm hitting the very top and if it's too low... Like if the camera's aimed too high, oh, I used my hands, but you couldn't see it. <laughs> but if the camera's too high, it'll have it down here. And that just means your camera's pointed too high. And same with left and right. Oh, it can't. My microphone got in the way of that. Eh. Ta-da. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> T. So, yeah. So that's what those little, uh, I can't do it. That's what these uh, blue bars are. Four. So if you see those, that just means that your camera, like you're on the very edge of what your camera can see and you should probably readjust it. Or maybe you're too close or maybe you're too far away. You got to make sure that you are in the right position. Okay. I haven't messed with props, but I really want to. I think that would be so cool. I haven't downloaded any. Um, I don't know what kind of uh, file type it is. And I just, I don't know what kind of file type it needs. So I haven't looked at that yet, but that would be really fun to play with too. Uh, let's see, avatar selection brings you back to here. You can reselect your avatar. Here's a bunch of settings. And like I said, I don't use leap motion at all. So I don't mess with these because I don't have, I don't know what leap motion is. What's this? Um, because I don't have hands right now. This might be for hands and stuff too. Yeah, I think this is for, um, if you have an actual tracking thing, but I just use my camera. So some other settings is effects, which is like, um, I haven't actually haven't gotten these to work because there was there was one time I wanted to darken 
myself, but it couldn't. And I don't know. Oh, because I didn't have. Oh, my gosh. I'm glowing. Guys, look, I'm glowing. Look, 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 look. This regular. I'm glowing. Oh, that's amazing. Let's intensify. I am ascending. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, this is so cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, you just gotta pl Whoa. You just have to play with settings sometimes and figure out what all they do. Um, it's because I didn't hit enable. I'm so silly. Oh my gosh. There was, uh, brightness. Enable. Oh my gosh. It was right here the whole time. Oh, that's the whole thing though. I don't want to do the whole thing. I just wanted me. Although, when the background's not here, it will just be me, I guess. I'm silly. No. Maybe it was, oh, this getting to zero is hard. Oh, you could just hit reset. Contrast. Whoa, look at my eyes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't know. Just play around with them and see what you think. It's all about experimenting, you know? Okay, I just hit reset. There, I don't actually need that. What is this? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I am so silly, look at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, just so silly. Oh, I can change the scale. Whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Okay. Oh, whoa, this looks extra 3D. Ooh, spooky scary. Oh, that's really scary. I don't like that, actually. I really don't like that. Oh, here. See, so turn this up, and then you can see what the radius is doing. Oh, that's really interesting. Whoa. Oh, I look more 3D. Ultra, yes. Yeah, I'll just go with high. Oh my gosh. This looks really cool. Huh, who knew? Who knew these things were in here, right? Not me. Not me. Okay, I just want just a tiny bit. That's really cool. I'm gonna leave that. That's really cool. What is chromatic? Oh. Oh no, we look like we're looking through like a bubble or something. Okay, so that's that. Um, that's the effects. Light settings. Oh, maybe this is what I wanted. Oh, it's dark. Somebody turned out the lights. Somebody turned out the lights. Ah! <laughs> oh, that just really goes. Oh, shadows. Whoa, there could be shadows on me. No, nah, we don't need shadows. Um, that's interesting. Ambient. Oh, pretty. Okay. That's interesting, interesting. And then settings again. Expression settings. This one is really fun, but I, I'll be honest. I don't really use these expressions. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with these. I don't. I don't know. I think I have to set them up actually. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. 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 Okay, those are expression settings, and I think you you do your expressions maybe in Vroid, and then you come over here and set them up. I'm not sure. And then general settings. Here we go. So in general settings, you can auto blink. That wasn't me blinking. That was auto blink. And then, um, I mean, there's all kinds of things. You just read about them, you know, auto lips, audio lip sync. Um, oh, so it detects sound more than my Oh, I thought it just saw my lips moving, but maybe it detects the audio too. That's really cool. I don't know. Hybrid lip uh, reset position on tracking laws. Yes. Okay, so here, global reset key. See, I have mine set to T. Why? 
I don't remember. But that's what I remember now, so that's what I'm going to stick it at. You can put yours as R for reset, but I put mine as T. And you just click on this, and it's like, okay, what letter, what key do you want to hit? And I hit this, and it's like, yes, I want to reset this. I signed it. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I leave, I leave these... As default, like everything I have here is set for default, but you can, oh my goodness, you can absolutely, whoa, oh, this is weird, okay, you can absolutely feel free to move around with all this stuff, see what all they do, things like that, device settings, um, I don't have a virtual camera, Oh, animate my jawbone. Do I have a jawbone? I don't think I even have a jawbone. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, there's just lots of things, but I, I have everything set to the default. Like everything. So if you have any issues, maybe try these settings that you see here. Feel free to pause the video and go through these. But there's expression detection. Oh my gosh. Oh, they give expressions now. Oh, I don't like this. I'm always going to be smiling. This, no, we can't do this. I'm always going to be smiling. That just looks silly. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we'll go back to none because that's just too much. I'm always smiling. I'm always, always, always smiling. So that might look a little funky. Uh, Anti-aliasing. I don't know what that means. I should learn what that means. It's in video games. And I always turn it off. Allow window resizing, VC, cap the frame rate at 60. Ooh, that's a lot. I could just do 30, actually. I just learned about frame rates and stuff. How's that? Or do we want 60? 60 is really nice and smooth. Oh, yeah, I like 60. 60 is so nice. Okay. Even though I record... No, I recorded 60, I think. Yeah, that's what this is. But... Oh, it's OBS though too. Huh. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's all of these settings and stuff. And feel free to go through these too. Um, mouth sensitivity, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. Show tracking points. That might be kind of fun. Tracking? I don't even see tracking points. Okay, maybe not. Um, exit out of that. Go back into settings. Okay, so yeah, that's all the settings. So, reset. And remember, um, this little button down here, when you click on this little tiny square, that gets rid of all of this stuff. And then to get rid of this little square, you press space. Why is that important? I will tell you why that's important. I'm gonna bring it back up just so you can see. So that's how you work V-Face. Yay, you're pretty much almost ready. It's so exciting. All of this stuff is free too. OBS is free too. So now we're gonna open up OBS, which is a streaming.